guys. Merry Christmas. We have, let's see. Gosh, not even, not even four hours before Christmas is here officially. Um, I tried to do a video earlier in the week and it didn't go over very well because apparently I filmed in 1080p and that's a little too much for YouTube to handle. So anyway, um, the boys are downstairs and they are watching Death Note. So I figured I would come upstairs and share my Urban Decay box with you guys. Um, excuse my hair. It's like really, really wet because I had it up in a bun. And um, I actually went as a who to work. So I had little antenna and my hair was all pulled back off my face. Um, so... I don't know if you guys have been following Urban Decay or not, but their current sale was if you spent $50, you got 10 free samples. Unfortunately, you didn't get to pick out which samples you want, like a regular um, Sephora purchase or Urban Decay purchase where you get one uh, eyeliner or one 24-hour pencil or lip liner or teeny little gloss. Um things like that. So this one, it's just you plugged in the code. Um, or I don't think you may not have had to plug in a code. I don't know. I've been ordering makeup like crazy because I haven't bought anything for myself brand new and probably was the last time I shopped at for Sephora. Um, I think it was to get cinnamon buns three in one and it was like $20 purchase. Wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. I'm done. Um, so I haven't bought makeup in a long time other than staples that I use every day, which one of the shadows that I like doesn't have a very, um, I guess ladylike kind of name. <laughs> the, um, eyeshadow that I like, it is a peachy gold, um, pink, like medium pink color and it's called Snatch. And the other Urban Decay shadow that I wear a lot of is more of a coral, shimmery pink um, with gold flash, which is called X. And I wear those kind of back and forth between the two of them. Um, I wear those the most, so I actually have like quite a few backups of both of them when I see them go to eBay or one of my friends is like, I swatched this and I hate it. So I'm like, I will take it in a heartbeat because I think it's one of my staple colors and I used to wear really flashy makeup and now I don't wear flashy makeup, but I'm trying to get back into the old me that used to work at the mall when um, I had a really fun job before the store went away. So, um, so I have samples and things that I can show you guys and... Um, I'm sure you've seen tons of videos about the Gwen Stefani palette um, from Urban Decay, which is, oh, if I can do it without <laughs> spilling the contents all over the floor, oh my god, my heart would like break if I broke this palette. I have not even had it for like 48 hours yet. <laughs> um, but it's the Urban Decay uh, Gwen Stefani palette and I'll show you this really quick and then we can get into the samples <laughs> um, there is if you order the palette I think at this point um, they don't have the Gwen Stefani lipsticks available just yet but they do give you a sample card with um, little blisters that have the lippies in them, and the ones that you get to sample are Rocksteady, 714, Ex-Girlfriend, and Firebird. And Firebird is this, like, pink with blue, almost purple flash to it. Um, a lot of Urban Decay's things remind me of um, Asphyxia, which is one of their eyeshadows that is a lighter pink than this, but it still has that weird, like, violet, purple, blue um, flash to it. So, um, this is nice because I like trying new things and this is one of the 
things that is getting so much talk on um, Urban Decay's Facebook right now, especially the post for the 50 and you get 10 free samples. So the palette itself is very, you can see my Christmas tree. Look at that. <laughs> um, I'm in my bedroom currently because like I said, the boys are downstairs commandeering the TV. So I figured I'd come up here where there's peace and quiet and I can do a video and you guys won't have to be like, what did she say? Um, although there is much excitement, so there may still be, what did she say? Um, so this is like the nameplate that's on the front is actually metal, which is really cool. Cause I was just, I wasn't expecting like a 3d thing I was just expecting this to be one whole piece or this to be under the plastic um, plexi top and it's not which um, I don't spend a lot of money on makeup um, unless it's something that I know that I'll get a ton of use out of so it's really it's a really textured front of this palette like this part right here is very um, smooth but when you look at I don't know if you guys see can you guys see how it's got it's like a piece of plastic underneath but it has holes punched out of it can you see like the shadows and the light play from my bedroom light on this thing um but it looks like like um it reminds me of one of those sticker sheets for like the three fourth round stickers or labels and you get a little overzealous and you punch through by accident instead of peeling the label or you peel the label and you peel the whole uh, part so you're left with this hole but that's what that reminds me of um, and then the back has a beautiful gold label <laughs> as you can see I'm holding my camera and my Christmas tree is right there. Um, but it has a beautiful gold label that has um, the lot number and all of the different um, names for eyeshadow palette, which I always thought was really cool about some makeup companies, is that they have that, um, they have that difference that it's, it's a worldly product. So I thought that was kind of cool. I thought that was really cool. So anyway, on the inside of this bad mamma jamma, there is a mirror that says the magic's in the makeup, which I still have my sticker on it because I don't plan on using this as a mirror. So I kind of want to keep everything as nice as possible. And then you have, let's see, 15 different colors. So and I know this really, this really doesn't give you guys a good idea of the colors like that bottom one like the fourth from the left looks like a gold it's like a greenish bronzy snaky kind of gold <laughs> um, and then danger is a blue with shimmer and like micro blue glitter in it and then Harajuku is very much like swish from Mac so if you really like Mac's swish um, eyeshadow that could be a close dupe for it um, in the photos online it kind of looked like Hepcat but it's not it's like a really pretty SWF would be another good um, dupe for this um, and then you have um, pop which is really close to um, X that I have it just doesn't have the glitter in it um, and then there are let's see Steady, pop, well, steady and pop, like the fourth from the left on the top, and the very first one on the second row, they're kind of like in the toasted, naked palette family. And then Danger is really close to ABC Gum, if you've ever used that eyeshadow with Urban Decay. And then Blackout has like micro... I can't really tell. It's like micro plum colored glitter. So that and Sirius would look really cool together because that color in Sirius is, or Sirius <laughs> would match the color that Punk is. And Punk is this like deep brown red. It's not gash, but it's brown. It's like a brown red. Um, and 
Zone, I think, would be a good, like if you're blonde, Zone would be a good eyebrow filler um, powder if you prefer powder over gels or pencil. And it's just really, really pretty. I mean, like all of the um, names for the eyeshadows. I mean, Harajuku is like her her company. So everything in this palette is very Gwen Stefani. If you've been following her career like I have since the 90s when you first saw the... Uh, um, no doubt videos of Gwen Stefani doing push-ups <laughs> and things like that. So this all comes in a little box that has the mimicked uh, punch-out uh, holes on it. And the little eye, the little eyeshadow, the little lip card comes in this palette. So I think it is a, for the time being, a sampler um, that you can get with this palette and the box itself is gold and white which is a very Macy's um, gift wrapping kind of thing it reminds me of when I worked at Macy's they had a very minimalist artsy cardboard kind of thing and then on the back it kind of gives you the different colors which they are way darker on this box so if you are trying to grab and run um, just to fulfill last minute Christmas whatever online. Um, don't go by what these shades look like on this box because definitely the Danger Harajuku and the Pop are way darker than what is in this little box. Okay, so the last part of this video um, is going to show you guys the samples that are included with your... $50 or more, or more, $50 or more purchase with Urban Decay. Um, there are two different setting sprays, I think. This, oh, this is a prep spray. My apologies. This is a prep, prep spray. And it is supposed to... It has vitamins in it and it reduces redness, which is really good for me because I have crazy rosacea. So let me open this up and smell. It has like a hairspray, like unscented hairspray kind of smell. Um, it's got a very rubbery body to the bottle itself. Um, so I'm hoping if I test this out and I really like it, I can get a bigger one and then refill this one so that it's in my purse. So that's the first sample. It's the first one. And then the second one is the All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray, which is supposed to be long lasting, oil free, and paraben free. And all of the little sample things that are in these like little binder looking things have Urban Decay written on it, so they're really cute. So this one I've heard smells like bug spray, which doesn't, it's not appetize. What's the word that you use? Appeal? Appeal to me? Um, appetizes for food. I don't think it would be safe to eat this. Um, so if I can get it out of here, let's, let's open this and see. Let's see what the smell is. kind of has a smell to it, but again, it's like hairspray and organic um, stuff is what it smells like to me. It doesn't smell like bug spray, like, like, um, like, what is that stuff called? Off. It doesn't smell like off to me, so maybe some people's noses are broke, I don't know. But anyway, this one is very, um, this one is like really up there in the customer satisfaction because um, they did clinical studies and they say that 78% out of 100 people that used this item to kind of you know test it out said that their makeup stayed on for 16 hours and that's a really long time 
So um, it'll be interesting to try and test that one out to see because usually I just wear eyeshadow and a little bit of foundation and um, like not a whole lot of anything else. So it'll be kind of interesting to see where we're at on that. So then that was sample two. So sample three is Urban Decay's Revolution Lipstick. And this one, this one, it has another Urban Decay tab, which is really cute. Um, this one, there's 20 intensely pigmented creamy shades in this, but the shade that we get to try is called Rapture, and it is a brick based um, raspberry-ish jam kind of color. Um, so we will open this up and look at it. So let's see if I can do this without destroying the little tube. The little tubelet. Okay. So this one is fairly pretty. The only thing that really squicks me out, I don't know if you guys I'm trying to get my camera to focus. Be nice, please be nice. Uh, of course it's not gonna it's not gonna do it. But it's got little fuzzies all over the lipstick and I don't know if that is happy times or not. So what I will do is I will, again, I use a Q-tip for like most of my stuff that I test because I don't like handing stuff off that I don't like to people that I've had all over my mouth or whatever. So I use Q-tips to test. So this is kind of, kind of pretty. So we will... We will test this. Oh, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. That is wild. Okay, so I'll show you guys my hand. So that's kind of kind of pretty. It's got like a really rocking gloss base to it. That is Wow, and it's like a medium rose color on. Like, you can't trust any of, <laughs> you can't trust any of Urban Decay swatches. They're terrible. Um, just whatever camera, scanny, whatever they use just doesn't know how it work. Okay, so that is the Revolution lipstick sample in the Rapture. So let me put this back together so that you can so we put that over there. Okay, now let's see. Put my sample thingy over there. So the next one is another one. It's another sample. The same Revolution lipstick. And it has Urban Decay Town. But this one is called Jilted. And this one looks like a raspberry cream. The other one was kind of sheer. So I'm kind of curious to see what's going on. This one is a different case too. It's got a different case to it. So we're going to see what this one looks like. If I can dexterously open this without killing myself. Okay, so this one is more like a... This one is like a lighter raspberry, I guess. So we're going to see what color. Ooh. Yeah, it's definitely different once you get that fuzzy crap off of it. Um, see, it's definitely different once you get the fuzzies off. Okay, so then I'll show you guys my hand again. Look at that. That is like deep pink. Like this one is work appropriate. This one is club appropriate. <laughs> so 
So um, it just kind of depends on what look you're going for. Both of them are very pretty, but um, this one is a little too bright and crazy for me to wear every day. This one, I probably use the whole sample. Um, and again, I'm like really, really pale, so I don't like bright, like neon-y, pink, um, Barbie shades. That's not really my thing, but because these are so sheer, I think I can get away with that. Not that my work constitutes what I wear for makeup. They don't do that. But me personally, my preferences, I kind of like to be toned down and muted in makeup. So that's, that's number four. Okay, the next one we have, it's called Matte Revolution Lipstick. So this is the matte line. And unfortunately, there aren't as many colors for this one. There's another. That one is not as pretty. Um, there's only nine for this one. I really like that black male color. I am digging these dark plums. Um, if you've been following my Facebook, I have a... The Splash Cosmetics that I believe is in Raven, I think, or Bellatrix, I think, is what they were trying to say for the Harry Potter ones. Uh, they renamed some of their stuff. But that one was a deep plum like that, and it was really pretty, and it was matte, too. So this one is Matte Bad Blood, which I'm unabashedly a Taylor Swift fan. Don't care. I like her. So, this one is like a very vampy Disney villain queen red. So, we will test this one, too, and see what we got. Ooh, and the formula for this is very, very smooth. Very smooth. I'm trying to not dig my nails in this now, in this, um... Lipstick. I hope I don't destroy it. So anyway, this one, look at that. So the top one and the second one were the regular Revolution lipsticks. And this bottom one is supposed to be a matte. It's still got a shine to it. But those three colors, that's like staples. Like woman staples, you know, when you're looking for colors to use. So this one... This one I like because it's like a blue toned red and blue tone, I mean, I'm pale. Hello. Blue toned reds look really good on me, like snow white-ish. So that's really pretty. So that one, that one will probably get used quite a bit, quite a bit. Um, if you were wondering, like most of the samples within this uh, box are lippies. So, and I like the design. That's just, that's like Max Slim Shine, like packaging right there, you know? It's, it's really pretty. So that's number five out of the, out of the ten. <laughs> so then this one is the Urban Decay High Color Lip Gloss in the Revolution line. And it's in Scandal. So Scandal is, they say it's this deep, uh, raspberry color. It matches this little banner right here. Um, that's not what that looks like to me. It looks like a Barbie pink to me. Um, let's show you guys. It looks like a Barbie pink. And the really, the really cool thing that I like about this is that it has the labels. And if you guys are familiar with the ozone, or not the ozone, the triple X cooling lip glosses that they had ages ago that were in tubes that were like this big had a crimped end and then if you didn't put the cap back on correctly they exploded all in your purse with this like really slick lube grossness so anyway so anyway um this it's like a weird oval shaped thing kind of like the uh glosses where you could uh that had the men on them. I forgot what they were called, but they had like Taylor and Zach and whatever guy peoples. <laughs> so this brush, because this is the first time I've opened this, so hopefully I won't fly it across the room. This brush 
comes out of here and it's not a doe foot per se because it's tapered on both sides. So this is different. So this one, unfortunately, I can't swatch with like a lip brush or whatever. So we're just going to gently <laughs> put it underneath bad blood on my hand. And then I can show you that. That applicator felt really good, by the way. That applicator is just like really nice. Um, and of course, the lip gloss clicks once you scroll it back down in where it's supposed to be. So this is the Scandal. Look at that. That's like a Jeffree Star pink. <laughs> I really like Jeffree Star and that looks like his color that he would just flip over. Okay, so that is the sixth sample in this box. And I'm kind of excited to wear this one tomorrow to my mom's house. I think that it will be really cute with my hair. If I can find a primer pencil that's a naked one. Speaking of naked, naked Urban Decay lip gloss with this gorgeous lady and her adorable Cupid's bow. Um, so this one, it has a more nude Urban Decay tattoo on this little tab here. And then this one, it has nine but they're supposed to go with the naked line, eyeshadows, whatever, whatever, which is one of the things that I really enjoy. So this one is called Naked, which is a nude pink with pearly pink shift. The ones that I really want to try, if this is really cool, is the Liar and Streak. Streak is really me because I love those coral-based pinks. Um, and they're really, really, really pretty. So we'll see if this is just like a wash or, and it comes in this awkward, tiny little tube, um, kind of like the tubes that the hard candy, uh, lip gloss promos used to come in, but the hard candy ones, they didn't give you much of a thing to hold on to. It was about that wide. So they were really really ridiculous. So I'm going to see if I can get this out of here with, again, not flinging it across the room. Okay, this one is a doe foot. This one is a doe foot and it's got, it's like a shimmery tan. It, You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of 80s frost lip glosses. So we're going to have to put this on the side of my hand because it's not... Ooh, this one is really sticky, you guys. Like, really sticky. Like... Maybe more sticky than um, color. I don't know if I'm going to dig that at all. Um, just by putting it on my hand, I'm not really, not really enthused about trying another one. So naked, they weren't kidding because look at that. It's like non-existent on my hand. And I really like dabbled it on there and it's like non-existent it just looks like I wiped my nose on my hand and it's there <laughs> okay so not impressed with this one so I doubt because of the consistency I'm going to try another one because that's just I don't like my lip glosses to be incredibly sticky I don't care if it's MAC or Lorac or uh, Lancome or what I, I can't I just can't I can't do it so then the next one that was number seven by the way sorry um, this one is Urban Decay Revolution high color lip gloss and unfortunately it's in a little bubble blister card so I can't test this one for you just yet but I'll definitely let you guys know what I think so kinky is like a taupe uh, pantyhose color like it reminds me of the color of control top pantyhose <laughs> um, assassin 
is a medium pink with a frack ton of glitter. I'm not even kidding. Like, there's so much glitter in this thing. I'll be surprised if I can scoop it out and not, like, I don't know, make a snowball with it or something. Because it's, it's really glittery. Um, and then Bittersweet is what this lovely young lady is wearing on her lips. And it is so a Rihanna color. Like, if Rihanna wore anything other than red I think she would like dig on this color or even Nicki Minaj Nicki Minaj might hook up with that um and I'm not a really big fan of hers but I mean she wears some pretty outrageous makeup colors but anyway so it comes in this little this little packet and I'm definitely going to try that because I like that purple and I think with my dark hair, it might look good. It might not. It might make me look like really, really sick and vampy. But sometimes that's a good thing. So anyway, that's number eight. Number nine is Perversion uh, Mascara. And the issue that I have with this... There's another herb. I love how everything is branded. Like, you, it's not even... It's kind of like an Easter egg, you know? So anyway, the problem that I have with Urban K's mascaras, they drive me nuts, um, is that the current fad right now, like this is me on this side, and that's really lightly applying mascara because I like it. This side, however, is like Tarantula Leg City, which, what is the big deal with Tarantula Leg? I, sh I stuff. I just don't, I don't understand that. So, those of you that prefer to have eight coats of mascara on your eyeballs and don't look like this, but look like that other lady that's in here with the tarantula eyes that the Kardashians rock a lot, ew, no thank you. So, this is number nine. Probably will give this away because I can't, I just can't with Urban Decay mascaras. Um, same goes for the CoverGirl... Force Awakens mascara, total crap. Like the brush on that, I'll have to show you guys in another video, but the brush on that is ridiculous. It's slimmer than than the setting on my ring. It's ridiculous. So anyway, before I get too far out of it, um, this is the 10th sample, which if you kept count, technically I got 11 because I ordered the palette. So that might be a good a good thing for you guys is to order the palette. Because um, then you get a sample with that and you get the 10. So anyway, this is the Urban Decay Sheer Revolution Lipstick. And unfortunately, this is also in a blister pack. So I can't, I can't show you guys. Um, so... They have quite a few colors. And one of the things is they say the Sheer Revolution lipstick. And then they show you the Sheer regular lipstick. Or just the regular uh, lipstick and the Sheer lipstick. Well, if you remember, let's look at my hand again. Okay, so these are pretty sheer. So what, what would be the difference, right? So these, there is one called Sheer Lady Flower again with the perverse names because Lady Flower is like Georgia O'Keeffe. Am I right? Um, and then there's Sheer Anarchy, which is another Barbie pink. There is Sheer Shame, which is a deep Merlot wine color. And then there's Sheer Walk of Shame, which is a like taupe. Again, another like pantyhose nude color. So that is it. So I hope you guys liked the first attempt at my very first video um, for the new year. I plan on doing a lot more videos of different things that I'm into and that I know how to do or quick fixes around the house that don't cost a whole lot of money. Um, just generally like a lot of DIY kind of things. Um, and I think when I get later into the year, it'll be time again to cut my bangs. These are real, I promise. They're just like glued to my head because I had those who 
um, antenna in earlier. But it'll be about time for me to trim my bangs again because they're not that bad. But once they hit my eyebrows, like not doing this, but once they're this long, I'm going to cut them again so that they're, you know, like a little higher. <laughs> Um, but anyway, I hope that all of you have an excellent Christmas, and if you have any comments, criticism, constructive criticism, uh, about this video, I am all ears and willing to learn and get better in my video taking. Um, I am going to invest in some sort of tripod so that I don't have to hold a camera while I'm doing things, but I'm waiting because it's Christmas, so you don't know what you get in Christmas presents until you open them, and now, because I've done all the video, video editing, we are now at three hours until Christmas, so I hope that all of you have a very, very Merry Christmas. And I look forward to doing more videos in the new year. So take care of yourselves. Hug yourselves around the neck, as my mother would say. And have a wonderful Christmas and a happy new year if I don't do a video before then. Bye!